My fellow guardians, what is going on, y'all? Your dude Sly here, back at it with another Destiny 2 Shadow Keep news video for you. With PAX West going on over the past weekend, a lot of people had their hands on Destiny 2 while playing Crucible and Gambit. However, it wasn't just a dev build of the game we have now, and uh oh, somebody boo booed. Turns out this dev build contained the collections of Shadow Keep, which wasn't blocked but easily accessible within the collections tab. All the players at PAX had to do was simply look. Now I'm sure once this was found out about, it was quickly taken care of, but I don't know what to make of it. I mean, is this a mistake? Then if it is, it is absolutely massive, but it almost seems like it might have been strategic. Either way, in this video guys, we're going to be taking a look and going over all of the leaked weapons and armor from the collections tab found over at PAX this past weekend. Now it goes without saying that all of this is a bit spoilery, so watch at your own risk. Among the weapons, the new titles for Shadowkeep have also been spotted, as well as the raid armor, so we'll start there first. So guys, for Shadowkeep, three new titles have been spotted. One for the new raid, called Enlightenment. For the Season of the Undying stuff, it's aptly named Undying. And then finally, for the Shadowkeep area, we have Harbinger, which sounds pretty cool. Moving over to the weapons and armor, next let's talk about the raid armor, which as I'm sure you've seen by now, has been turning into somewhat of a controversial discovery and issue over on Reddit. Of course, this is only a snapshot of the collections tab, but you can tell it's a direct reskin of the Eververse armor available during the Osiris DLC. Now raid armor is usually like a one-off special set, a special kind of armor that people, you know, wear with pride. It takes a lot of work the first couple of weeks to beat the raid, so when you have raid armor on, it's kind of like, hey, you know what, I went, I came, I saw, I conquered, and this is what I have to show for it. You know, it shows that you have the skill to beat the raid, but this reskin makes it a little less desirable. There isn't much to look at, because again, these are snapshots, which by the way can all be found as well as their original links, as well as the credit down below in the description box. But these snapshots were all taken quickly because if you've ever been to a gaming convention, it's kind of like a cattle drive. You're herded into a long line, you wait for hours, and then once you're unleashed to a gaming station, you hop on and only have like a minute or so to get set up before the game start. All the while developers are walking around in circles looking at what you're doing, and I'm sure these pictures were taken quickly and quietly. But what we do have are pictures of the Hunter's armor and a small snippet of the Warlock armor, both of which look very familiar, no doubt. But moving on from here, guys, let's take a look at some of the new raid weapons. We don't get to see them individually, but they are all listed in this picture along with the Hunter raid armor. Now, I'm not sure if this is all of them, but what we can see here are the Reckless Oracle LMG, a Crude Redemption Bow, Ancient Gospel Hand Cannon, Prophet of Doom shotgun, which by the way is one of the best names ever for a shotgun, and then it gets a bit tricky from here on out. There are three others, the Sacred Provenance, Zealot's Reward, and the Unmissian Eye. Our Sniper Rifle, Pulse Rifle, and Scout Rifle, although, which one is which? I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to tell by these small thumbnails. Although, if I had to guess, Sacred Provenance is probably the Pulse Rifle, Zealot's Reward is the Scout, and the Omniscient Eye is the Sniper. Could be completely wrong here, but it's all good. Anyways, we'll find out here soon. Okay, Guardian, so next up, let's talk about the other weapons that were leaked out. And of course, the first one is right here at the bottom left, the exotic raid weapon called Divinity. It comes with a perk called Judgment. Sustained damage with this weapon envelops a target in a field that weakens and disrupts them. Now, this could be the weapon we saw in one of the Shadowkeep Vidox, as you see here in the background. Now, personally, I'm kind of a little sad to see, you know, the raid weapons exposed, especially the exotics. Raid weapons and armor, to me, are my favorite part about Destiny's Endgame. When you're in the raid on day one, it's awesome to stop after your first boss clear and look at everyone's drops in gear and compare or test it all out and you know, kind of talk about it. It's one of my favorite moments when you beat the raid. Now, the raid exotic is usually a secret for quite some time, and it kind of sucks that it's now out in the open before the DLC you know, even arrives. However, if this is the weapon shown within the Vidoc, then I guess it's not really a secret, it's already been spoiled. Anyway, hopefully there'll be other ones somewhere in the raid that are still kept secret, as I love me some secrets. Anyways, continuing on here guys, there are only a couple more exotics and weapons to look at and that have been found so far. The first of which, an unnamed LMG, and from what we can tell, looks like it's going to be one hell of a power weapon. It's unnamed so far and a placeholder title is currently here, but we can tell from the perks that it comes with rangefinder as well as high caliber rounds. And on top of that, the exotic perk is called pyrotoxic rounds fires high-powered explosive ammunition. Something tells me, guys, this gun is going to be straight-up legit. 
Okay, and moving on to the last exotic here, guys, a rocket launcher called Deathbringer. It comes with a perk called Dark Descent, but its exotic perk is called Dark Deliverance. Fires remotely detonated projectiles that drop void orbs on enemies. Hold the trigger or left mouse to fire and release to detonate. So it kind of works similarly to the old D1 launcher, Dragon's Breath. And that's about it so far, y'all. This is either planned or someone is in some deep, deep doo-doo. Because there's quite a bit of saltiness over on Reddit, which, of course, isn't unusual. But right now, it's ultra salty, especially concerning the armor. Either way, guys, I am super excited for Shadowkeep, and these exotics just make my hype turn up even more. For those who haven't seen it yet, Damage 04 has confirmed that the pictures are indeed the raid armor for the upcoming Black Garden raid called Garden of Salvation, as you can see in this comment here. But that's it for me, Guardians. Just a quick video keeping you all up to date on the latest Destiny 2 Shadowkeep news. As always, thank you for watching and for your continued support. If you're new to my channel, then first of all, welcome to Sly Nation. And secondly, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you become part of the nation. And with that, I hope you all spank the thumbs up, but only do so if you enjoyed yourself. And if you wish to check me out over on Twitter or Facebook, you can do so on Twitter at Sly Nation or Sly Nation Gaming on the FB. Take care, my friends, and if you happen to be living in the Caribbean, especially Bahamas, Bimini, the Atlantic coast of Florida, or even up my way near the coast of the Carolinas, then I hope you all stay safe from the upcoming Hurricane Dorian. This thing is one of the biggest hurricanes I've ever seen come our way, with wind gusts well over 180 miles per hour, which is absolutely insane, and it's going to be quite devastating. So be safe, and I'll have the Caribbean in my thoughts. Take care, y'all, and keep those eyes open for more vids coming out here soon, but until then, this is your dude Sly, and I'll catch you all next time.